welcome to this edition of Canola TV, featuring the latest information on producing and marketing winter canola in the Southern Plains. Canola TV, a service of PCOM, Producers Cooperative Oil Mill. Howdy neighbors, Ron Hayes with another edition of Canola TV. We're reporting from a Canadian County, just a little bit east of El Reno, and in a blooming canola field today with Mark Boyles from Oklahoma State University. Mark, can would you imagine that uh, five, six years ago as we started this project that we would be at the point we're at today? Well, it's uh, been pretty amazing in the last four or five years uh, that we've come from essentially nothing to where we are today. Uh, we've got a couple of crushers and uh, now, and we've got a lot of growers looking at it for rotational crops, and we're tar starting to see uh, some of our initial objectives being achieved, uh, uh, rotational crop with wheat and trying to control some of our wheat and some of our predictions on uh, dockage that the growers are going to have to face uh, in the coming years of producing quality wheat are coming true and, and they're really getting hammered on some dockage issues, cleanliness issues around the world and that was the objective of starting this five years ago and uh, we're, we're seeing that and we're very very proud of, of our wheat growers and what they've been able to uh, grab a hold of in, in helping their wheat and also we're growing a profitable crop that, that's planted uh, same time wheat's planted in, in uh, a broadleaf cup and harvested about the same time wheat and uh, we've got some very adaptable varieties now. We went through you know, some areas minus 20 uh, in the northern part of the state this year. Some had snow on it, some didn't. We essentially, all our varieties now have uh, essentially no uh, winter kill in them. Uh, now we've, we've worked with a lot of good companies. Uh, it's been a group effort between OSU, the media, the the uh, all the crushers all the industry folks and asking them to come forward and sort of invest in the future uh without expecting uh, results immediately so far sort of foreseeing what we could do if we could put this all together and, and it's starting to show now this is a tough year for a lot of folks because of the extremely dry weather but it looks like uh where canola's had at least a little bit of rain it's done pretty well yeah, canola does extremely well. It's a very drought tolerant plant because it has a tap root on it and get up to 30, 40 inches deep. So, and, and it also can mine soil fertility that maybe the wheat crop hasn't been able to utilize down deep in the past. And uh, uh, it has been very dry, especially in the southwest. Uh, canola, and generally, uh, people will tell you it's more drought tolerant than wheat, and the growers are seeing that in their field where some of them are probably may, I hope it rains, but may not harvest any wheat. We're going to harvest some canola. We've got a good price on it this year. We've got good contracts on it and available. And uh, like I said, two people now, uh, some good competition in the market. We're getting enough acres, and they're seeing the impacts of, uh, of growing a, a, a crop they can rotate with. So mm -hmm. it's done very well. It's, it's like anything else. There's a point of no return, but... Uh, with the moisture that we have had, uh, we're extremely pleased at, at how well it's reacted. Well, last question, uh, as, we, as we think about, you know, maybe the advice that you're trying to stress to some of these guys that are growing canola this year or thinking about growing canola, you've, you've come up with a couple of things, and I think maybe the top of that list is you do need to make sure you always rotate. Yeah, when we rotate in canola with wheat, we only recommend uh, one year out of three or four. That gives you a chance to get in there with something like a Roundup Ready wheat, take care of those rye, goat grass, cheat, and things that are becoming resistant that Dr. Armstrong has been talking about. And uh, to get proper insurance, you can't rotate more than two years. It's like any crop. Uh, if you grow it more than uh, several years in a row, you start developing insect issues, disease issues. There are no cross uh, Diseases or insects between canola and wheat, so it's an excellent rotation of crop. A lot of growers in the state have grown wheat a long time, and there's issues we're trying to address because of that. Thank you, Mark. Mark Boyle is joining us today from, uh, of course, here in Canadian County. He's with OSU and our, one of our state canola uh, experts when it comes to uh, this relatively new crop that we've got here in the state of Oklahoma. For Canola TV, I'm Ron Hayes. Canola TV, a service of PCOM and produced by OklahomaFarmReport.com.